Dana Price here for my week two video discussion. Um, talking about PR that doesn't work well. There are lots and lots of instances that I can think of that it doesn't work well. Um, seems like that's a common occurrence, unfortunately. But we always learn something from these experiences and we move on to the next one. And one instance that I want to talk about in particular is I was a librarian for 12 years until recently and I started an event at our library because I did adult programming that was called a women's health retreat and um, we did it in February because it's heart health month for women's health and there are lots of other things and Valentine's Day is in February all about loving yourself kind of so <clears throat> we started it the year before COVID and then COVID came and we didn't have it and so then we tried to resurrect it after COVID and I put it together with kind of like um, the event that you use as an example uh, with lots of great speakers who gave great information and great talks. Oklahoma Be Healthy came and did a nutrition class about eating for your health and ways to heal yourself with food and there were just lots of great speakers. There was um, someone who came and talked about um, sleep and someone who came and talked about mental health and just various, and it was an all day thing and we had crafting, someone from the Science Museum and came and talked about um, the art of tea and how you could put different elements in tea and how they actually had properties that affected your health. Some things for inflammation, some things for energy, some things for um, sleep, different things. And we made our own versions of tea and everybody took home tea bags and little ground tea, canister of tea. It was very cool. Um, just all day long, every um, hour and a half with somebody different presenting. And it was a great event. And the women who came were just raved about it. They could not talk about it enough. And we had a PR department with our library system that was supposed to be in charge of our PR. But if I had a nickel for every time somebody said, well, I didn't know you were having that event, I would be a wealthy woman. I wouldn't be struggling now. Um, so, <laughs> you know, they did posters, they put it on um, the social media sites that they control, which the library did have a Facebook and um, oops, sorry, a few other sites, but um, it just didn't reach a wide reaching social media audience in my opinion. It wasn't done well, I guess I would say. So I didn't feel like the message really spread. And even though as librarians, we always shared it when it was on there and tried to spread it to our social media influence, it just didn't feel like it was reaching the people that we wanted to reach. So it was really disappointing to have put together this really great event with really great speakers and have these really great resources available for for people to come and take part in um, for free and then you know have an audience of maybe 15 people show up so um, I totally get it and I really think it's just all in how you get a hold of people thanks